team investigation on identity theft that everyone needs to watch. Give an expert just an hour online, and without breaking any laws, he or she can get enough information to steal your identity. At a time when identity thefts are really skyrocketing, the I team tested your cyber safety. Here's I team reporter Zach Ottenstein with what he found. Zach? Lee, our test revealed almost everyone is vulnerable. There's a lot of power at Denise Files' fingertips. This computer security expert says there's probably more information about you online than you realize. If someone has the time and money to spend and they want to find what they can about you, they're going to find it. According to the FTC, identity theft is on the rise. There were about 315,000 complaints last year, the number one consumer reported crime jumping 21%. One in five of those cases involved creating fake credit cards. How much information is out there about all of us? It is staggering. So Denise helped the I team with an experiment. We gave her the names of five volunteers and one hour per person to find as much information online as she could. I've never met any of these people. I think I did a pretty good job coming up with information. Files searched, sorted, and stacked piles of documents. Then we brought her results to our volunteers. Denise, I want you to go ahead and introduce everybody here on the panel to us. You've had mm -hmm. only their name and yes. an hour. Yes. But you know every person at this table. Yes, I do. Even though you've never met them before. No. Okay, why don't you go ahead and introduce everyone to us. Well, the young lady with the brunette hair is Jennifer Babcock, assistant executive here at ABC. Matthew, is it Dart Black? Yes. Okay. Deborah Weiser, Jim Dussel, and the other Jennifer. And how do you say that? Well, Wallenzak. Wallenzak. You all have pictures in there except for Jim. Files had found pictures, addresses, home layouts, and more. What's your initial reaction? Amazing. Nervous. She was even able to find volunteers' family members. That's what really surprised Jim Dussel. Very uh, shocked that you could pinpoint my kids. It led him to wonder if she found so much, could she have found his social security number? How easy is that to find? I mean, it, if you already have all this information. The answer to Jim's question is it depends. You should check records to make sure your social security number is blacked out. It can be on many documents like hospital, police, and court records. The difficulty new information's online every day, and Files says crooks learn new tricks. We don't necessarily know what we need to protect ourselves from because the good guys aren't thinking, how can this be exploited? But after gathering more than 100 pages on our volunteers, Files says what she found was enough. And this is enough to begin stealing an identity. Oh, this is more than enough in some cases. You can minimize what's out there about you. Remember, if you write something online, make sure you'd want your grandmother to know it. Experts call that the grandmother rule. Make sure your social networking page is private and tell family and friends to do the same. His security is not just a state of mind. It's a collection of actions, tools, tips, techniques, and it's a way of behaving. Our volunteers say they'll change their behavior. What I'm going to take out of this is just to be more aware. I mean, I'm... I'm comfortable mm -hmm. with where I'm at right now. Well, I think it's a good reminder to be cautious. We have links to resources with more on fighting identity theft, and we also put together a video with more tips to show you how to minimize the amount of information about you online. There are IT extras at 13abc.com. Reporting live for the IT team, Zach Ottenstein, 13ABC.